This is the fourth collected edition of the works of Geoffrey Chaucer, printed around 1550. I'm Sammy Jay from Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this uh, extraordinary copy. Uh, the, uh, any early edition of the works of Chaucer um, is very unusual to find. Uh, it was first printed, it was one of the first works printed by Caxton, um, the first person to print in English in England. Um, and uh, any um, 15th century editions from, from, from the late 1400s um, are virtually unobtainable. This is the fourth collected uh, edition, and I shall turn here to the title page, uh, and you can see how it is printed in this uh, grand Gothic uh, black letter type. Um, the works of Geoffrey Chaucer, newly printed diverse works, contains the Canterbury Tales, uh, the Roman of the Rose, Troilus and Cresside, and his other uh, important works. Um, uh, as we leave through, we see the uh, thick black type. Um, this particular edition, which is the fourth collected, as I said, is notable for containing two new woodcuts to illustrate the Canterbury Tales. Here you see uh, the illustration of the Knight's Tale. And the second appears here uh, to illustrate the Squire's Tale. Uh, and there you see the, the Squire. Um, these woodcuts uh, appear first in this edition, are valuable for that reason. Um, they uh, were then used for all subsequent black letter editions of uh, Chaucer until the late 1600s. Um, and indeed, it is these black letter uh, editions of Chaucer that established him as more or less the, considered the father of English poetry. Um, and usually, uh, well, I say usually, I mean, when, if one ever meets with an early collected edition of Chaucer, it is usually the, six, the 1560 edition. And this, as I said, is the uh, 1550 edition. Um, and we can see, if we turn to the rear of the book, to the uh, colophon, uh, the bottom left corner here, we see him printed at London by William Bonham. Uh, Bonham was the printer of this fourth collected edition. Uh, it's generally understood to be around about 1550 there. As you can see, there's no definite date given there. Um, the, uh, if ever one encounters one of these editions, it's usually uh, the 1560 or a later one. And this is um, earlier than that and very unusually also complete and valuable for that reason. Um, the binding is also very finely done and very nicely presented. It's by Hayes of Oxford. Um, and you can see it's uh, done in a way perhaps to echo the sort of Gothic black letter uh, inside. Um, and it is in uh, very nice condition. It's a 19th century binding, uh, but finely done. Uh, and you see it also, this copy has a, a very uh, kind of rich provenance, including here um, the Rosenbach collection of Geoffrey Chaucer and uh, Rosenbach himself dubbed it in capital letters here, a fine copy of a very rare work book, and so it is. To find out more about this and other works of early English literature, please visit our website.